Hello, Henry of the Elevation Company. There are just a couple of things that I wanted to share with you about uh, circle count and circle scope and how you can use them to become much more targeted in your Google Plus efforts. So for example here, now one of the things that you know you need to keep in mind, I'm working on a very fast connection here, 65 megabits per second download speed, and still some of these uh, uh, processes, uh, this analysis is a little bit on the slow side. So this is very calculation intensive and it's something that you have to keep in mind you know, when you're doing this, you wanna be on the fastest connection that you possibly can. So, you know, initially I was confused by circle count. I thought that I could go in and do all countries and content marketing and get a list of people. But actually what, you know, what you do is you go in and you pick the category that you want, like highly engaging profiles, and then you pick the topic, okay? So first you pick what it is that you want. And in this particular scenario, I'm looking for uh, highly engaging people in content marketing. And this is the list that I get. Okay, so theoretically, these are the top, uh, what, how many? 50 most engaging people uh, in Google Plus on the topic of content marketing. So one of the things that I can do is, first of all, go in and, you know, with this individual, uh, click on their uh, profile. And again, remember what I said about the, you know, the connection speed and the, um, uh, you know, labor intensive uh, process, the calculation intensive process of what we're doing here. So uh, here now I go and I look at uh, Scott Bueller and take a look at all the things uh, for which he's known. Profile rank in the United States is 50. 508 gender rank is 291 and overall in all of Google Plus circle rank is um, uh, yeah sorry circle rank is uh, 5.6 thousand in the world and 693 in the United States almost a hundred thousand followers yada 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 so I can go here and um, the first thing that I want to do is add uh, Scott to um, my Google Plus circles. And I'm going to add him to my personal profile, but also to um, any relevant uh, pages. I'm not going to do that, you know, like right now. But um, I want to make sure, first and foremost, that um, Scott is in a VIP circle of important people that I want to track and hopefully engage with. Okay, so right now he's only in my following circle, but I want to add him to VIP. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm going to go back. And just recently, okay, it looks like I didn't uh, add him, but because of uh, time constraints, I'm not going to go back and do it. So the other thing I want you to notice is that recently, integration between CircleOscope and uh, Circle Count was announced. And so one of the things that you're going to see is the CircleOscope icon here on uh, Scott's image. And this is uh, where we try to tap into the people that are engaging with Scott and his content. Down here in the lower right-hand corner, we see circle count engagers of the last X posts and click here to start. So I'm gonna go in, um, in people who have engaged with the last three uh, things that, that he has published, and let's see what we come up with. Okay, so there are 386 results, and if I'm looking for people who engage around his content with the most followers, 
then what I can do is um, sort them by you know most relevant, least relevant, uh, most followed, least followed, whatever. And if you let the whole you know search go, then it takes more time. You can stop it just by clicking. And so then what I can do is, you know, here they are in term, you know, ranked, you know, in terms of uh, number of followers. Okay. And I can select and say either select all, and that would give me all 386 results, or I can select this page. And if I am using the pro version, which costs $50 per year, and I think is an excellent investment, then I can go and add all 15 people to an existing circle of content marketer engagers or content marketing engagers. Okay. And now these people are being added to my content marketing engager circle and they are being notified that they have been added okay so that's just one of the that's the way that um, circle count and circle of scope work together but you know another thing that I want to do in circle of scope is just to check and see you know like I'm almost maxed out on the number of people that I can follow and so one of the things that I want to do is take a look at my uh, relevance distribution and see how I'm doing in terms of, you know, like as I, <laughs> there's my own profile, I'm not relevant to my own content. Um, you know, a couple of different, uh, you know, what happens is as I go lower, uh, I find people who are less and less relevant. So one of the things that I can do is to go in and take a look at profiles or let's see, inactives, what relevance there we go take a look at low relevance people and let these uh, results fill okay so altogether Google or circle scope is telling me that 1400 of the people that um, are following me are not Relevant. So one of the things that I can do here is go in and select least followed. Okay, now I'm looking at this and I'm saying, wow. Um, there are a couple of things here that, um, you know, that disturb me in terms of I never want to um, let go of some of these uh, people. These are thought leaders who um, I want to uh, whitelist and make sure that I never, uh, never lose them and that I never delete them. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say I want to whitelist these people. And in this way, I know that they will never be removed in search. Uh, so what I'm going to do at this point, whoops, let's see one more person. All right, now I'm going to um, select this page and I am going to remove these 15 people from all circles.
And it says, note that 10 of them are whitelisted to be protected from being removed. So if you click OK, only five profiles will be removed. That's what the whitelist is for. Okay, now I have control of my computer again. And those five people have been removed. So I can um, you know, go back and do the same thing. Um, I'm sorting by least followed. Um, I wanna select this page and remove those people from all circles. Okay, so this is the way that I remove people who are um, less um, relevant. So again, I go by least relevant. And I select this page of people. Oh, and again, I see someone who uh, I think is relevant. And I want to make sure to uh, whitelist him. Matter of fact, I'm going to go and unselect all. And I'm going to make sure that I add Jason here to my whitelist. And now I'm going to select all and say remove ever remove these people from all circles. So this is uh, really about the search for relevance. And you only have 5,000 people that you can have, you know, in your circles. So one of the things that you want to do is figure out, you know, who is important to your brand and who you should connect with in order to send in a Google a strong message that you're relevant in a space. And use tools like Circloscope to only add the best and smartest people. Now, another way that you can get, you know, some of the best and smartest people is to go into CircleScope and take a look at profiles and pull up community members who are not in my circles. So for example, now in the aviation space, I go to um, the Gazing Skyward Aviation Community, which is one of the most active aviation communities and it's run by an up and comer um, who is really, uh, you know, kind of rocking the community space uh, around this John. Oh, John, I'm sorry if I massacre your name. Fatal um, is really doing a great job. So one of the things I could do is go and grab the URL for the community and put it in the circle scope. And what this is going to do is going to analyze the community and tell me which of these community members are not in my circles. So I actually have, you know, very few, but if I'm focusing on the aviation space, then all of these people are very important to me. So I can select all and add them to a circle called aviation. And now what I've just done by adding that community to my circles, I've given myself the ability to pull these people in and to communicate with them when I'm posting relevant uh, information. I'm gonna go and add them to another circle. Oh. Okay, 
Okay. So apparently I'm up against the uh, the limit and I couldn't add these folks because that would put me over 5,000. So I need to do a little bit more pruning in ter terms of getting rid of the less relevant people and adding more relevant people. But um, circle of scope, circle count and circle of scope are two tools that I highly recommend for finding more and more relevant results in Google Plus. Um, if you have any questions or feedback, please let me know. Uh, this is one of those things where I feel like I haven't had enough coffee yet, but I'm trying to, um, you know, put together some coherent thoughts and you can tell me whether I was successful or no. <laughs> oh, I look forward to your questions and feedback.